be positive. Um, a B positive would, and we'll get to that. Let me get to the next slide, okay? I'll, I will get to that because oh, you asked that. I'll, I'll, I'll answer all four blood types in just a minute, all four behavioral styles, okay? okay? All right. So, life path. Does anybody know what they want to do when they grow up? I'm going to start with you because you haven't said anything. What do you want to do when you grow up? to you or to a person and then they think about it and they go, maybe I can't do that. And that's, don't, don't do that, don't do it. Maybe you can't do that, but I can because I'm willing to put in the time, the effort, I'm willing to go and talk to models, okay. to military people and football players, to basketball players, to businessmen, to ask, well, no. our, our, our teachers and to I'm willing to go to people that do this already, and I already know he wants to be a basketball, football player, an investor, or a, or a, or an entrepreneur. Or a business. I want to be. A, what do you want to do, Zachary? I want to be a, a professional um, basketball player and a professional football player. You gonna you gonna play both sports? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I didn't even say you were gonna play both sports. What do you think? You'd be lucky just to get on a high school basketball team. Don't do that. And if someone does that, you can you can excuse them for just a moment. Get your thoughts back on track and agree with what you want to do. Put in the time. There is no one saying you can't do what you're wanting to do. And you want to do these things for a reason. It's in your heart. I'm trying to show you that we're all wired a certain way on purpose. We're all what I like to call um, interdependent. People, ever, anyone ever heard the word independent? Yeah. Does, yeah. does anyone know what the word interdependent means? What does it mean? Yeah. Nice try. Incomplete, not incorrect. Oh, rely on other people. Very good. Interdependent, we all rely on other people. There's a staff at this hotel that takes care of the hotel, otherwise it would be messy and maybe, you know, they take care of it. Somebody built the hotel so we could come here. Someone built your school. Someone cleans it. Someone paved the road. Someone rolls the food that you eat or takes care of the animals. Everything we do depends on somebody else. So we're all interdependent. So real quick, I'm going to go over these four. Get along, get involved, get it right, or get it done. Get it done. Get it done. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of this simply because... He's already falling asleep. No, I just know. Okay. If you want, if your if your main motivation or your main communication style with others is to get along, you might want to prefer a job. You might want stability. You might want something you can do over and over again and it's repetition. And you might work well with others, so you enjoy a small group to work with. If your main 
uh, motivation or the way that you are moved to do something is that you get to get involved, then you might create ideas. You might seek fun and excitement, and you lead others well, and uh, you'd enjoy large groups. If your main motivation was to get it done, you might be investment minded. You might seek results. You might need multiple things at one time, and you might enjoy winning. If, you, if your main motivation or, or is to get it right, you'll be detail-oriented, you'll seek perfection, you'll lead small groups and projects, and enjoy it very uh, precisely. You may not enjoy it because it has to be right. What do you want? Does, um, you know how it says enjoy, enjoy it, direct, mm -hmm. guarded, and open? Mm -hmm. Does direct and open go to the red one and indirect and open? Go to the blue one and direct and guard and go to the blue one. Give me five. And guard and go to yes, it does. Yes, it does. Very good. Very observant. If you are more interested in getting involved and or getting along, you will be more open to talk about most things. If you're open yet indirect, you'll be open to start talking, but then you might <laughs> start to not, you know, not be so because you're trying to make it right. Okay? If you are indirect yet guarded, you want everything to be right so it has to be perfect, but at the same time, you're not going to say anything because in your mind, you're still calculating and putting everything in the right place. If you have to be guarded and direct, then, well, this is fun because someone who's guarded is holding back information. But if they're direct, they might be aggressive or... Um, they, they won't mind conflict, so they might speak out a little bit more. Anybody know anybody like that? You or somebody else? All right. That's okay, because if you want to be an athlete, you need this word. If you want to be an athlete, you have to enjoy winning. Okay? If you want to be an athlete, you have to seek results. Kind of All athletes are great business people, okay? Because you're competing, and businesses compete to win. In business, there's no second place river. And for champions, there are not either. So, where you may be a little direct, you may have to soften that up a little bit by being more open. You might have to find times to be more indirect and not so direct, straight to the point. And you might have some times where you need to hush up because direct people speak up, but you have to pick your times in order to get your career, okay? We want to. Oh, you're just stretching. I thought you stretching. <laughs> you know, see, you can always tell certain personality types or behavioral styles. If someone doesn't like to be in the spotlight, they're not here. <laughs> they're probably here or here. These two are quieter, these two are more outgoing. 